appreciate you joining me on this little road trip, Jared. You know, a lot of things have been happening for the last few months, you know. Mm. You are a Sheffield MP. Yeah. <laughs> does, it, does it feel real yet? Uh, it, it does now. Uh, yeah. I, I'm settled now. And now I've got a constituency office and some yeah. staff. Yeah. And I'm starting to like do casework helping like yeah. local people that live in the Holland constituency with some of their like problems they've got yeah. in their day to day lives. Now it feels real because so you were nearly the manager of the Arctic Monkeys, Jared. Tell us about that. Oh, that's that's massive conjecture. Jeff, <laughs> He's Jeff, dying. Jeff Faraday had a band that were managing years ago, and they'd only put the second MP out, and they're like, "Why is it not happening?" Yeah, <laughs> I know, yeah. yeah. I've they got half second, an hour. Second EP out, yeah. They yeah. put some like three track EP out, EPs out, yeah. and then like second EP comes out, and they're like, "Why aren't we signed to a major label?" Yeah. They want why, things why straight away, kids, sorry? don't they? Yeah. These days. I know, I know, yeah. And Can I ask uh, a. A member of Parliament, this question, please. Can I just ask, as a politician, what's the what's the naughtiest thing you've ever done? Okay, well, Carl, <laughs> Carl for, for the benefit of uh, of the viewers, Carl actually pre-warned me he was going to ask you. <laughs> well, but I'm not stitching anybody else. You know. Prior to us recording, I have had a chance to think about <laughs> it. Have you? Oh, and let me, have, let me tell you about it. the naughtiest thing I've ever done. Go on, then. Uh, but when there's so many disabled people out there that don't have the luxury of a, of a generous salary, salary what yeah. I currently have, yeah. and it's, it's a lifeline for them. It's the difference between them being independent uh, yeah. uh, or or being housebound and alone, and uh, yeah. and it's just so important that, like I said, we do use uh, a little bit uh, of this tax revenues to, uh, to help disabled people. 100%. But yeah. Yeah. I've spoken to, to claimants who've been unfairly sanctioned, and there's countless stories in the alternative media yeah. that you don't see, like in the Rupert Murdoch papers, in the Sun or the Times or whatever, yeah. or on Sky News. And uh, like I said, there's so much uh, travesty, unfairness, and downright evil going off where genuine needy people uh, who have got good hearts and good intentions are being penalised and victimised and suffering.